I make sure it works. Three points of contact in the truck and out the truck. We gonna, I'm going to practice this straight back, right? I'm going to show you what they were showing me all the time. But don't forget to subscribe to the number one freight broker, owner operator, truck driver, video vlog in the woo! Wow. Help us reach the 1,000 subscriber mark by liking it and commenting on our platform, Brokers Talk, and for, don't forget the number one thing to do is subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We need a thousand subscribers by October 1st, 2022. With that out the way, let's practice straight back. So I'm gonna release the parking brakes, put the bad boy in the reverse. guessing how the heck did I went from a truck into this and my old tire chains no I didn't quit the training guys actually um, it's kind of challenging to record like I do um, when you're actually going through training when you're actually supposed to be there learning and um, talking about knowledge cuz there's a lot of knowledge um, that comes with getting your CDL license and you really gotta be you gotta pay attention to the utmost and i was trying to show you guys you know what i mean the truck i'm back it up then my instructor came and i had to, had to act like you know i wasn't recording and i was actually paying attention you know and then my phone fell it was a lot of stuff that was going on but anyways um i would have been there a lot longer but guys remember i'm a, I'm a freight broker I have T checks to cash. <laughs> you know, I still have a freight brokerage business, guys. So I'm on the way to the local bank here um, to cash these T checks and to pay these carriers because last thing I need is an upset carrier that's screaming and complaining to me that he didn't get paid and I'm out here trying to get my license. So that's what we're heading to right now. But I want to give you guys a quick um, recap of today, how it went. And to be quite frankly honest with you guys, it actually went pretty well. It went better than yesterday. You know, yesterday I was kind of down because it was so much knowledge coming in. You know, I was soaking up so much stuff that was kind of like unbearable, you know, at the time. And I'm like, oh my goodness, am I going to even pass this test? Because the test consists of you know what i mean you got the pre-trip pre-trip inspection and then you have the driving test right you gotta learn how to do a 45 degree backing you gotta learn how to straight back and then you gotta learn how to do alley dock so there's three tests and then you do the road test and stuff like that and on the road test you know just driving so you can know they, they, the inspector can see that you know how to use your signals and you look and you're observing and the main thing one of the important Part of the test is railroad tracks you know i mean as a truck driver as a safe truck driver you have to stop in front of railroad tracks put your window down listen if you hear any trains coming and observe if you see any trains coming and once you identify and say that you don't hear or see any trains coming then you can proceed forward but don't forget to put your window down and then if there is a train that's coming then we all know it's common sense don't go <laughs> but that's just stuff that you learn but the main part is 80 percent pre-trip inspection that's what the inspector looks for you know what i mean and they drop down notes uh, giving you a point taking away a point you're putting on notes and seeing if you're actually know what you're saying that you know and that's 80 percent of the test the rest of the test the driving part portion is 20 percent. so you have to know your truck outside inside and in the cab okay and you got to remember too there's about 144 parts that you have to memorize you know what i mean 
So it's about, it's repetition. You know I mean? The more and more you listen, the more and more you, you work at it, you'll start to learn how to really break down your truck inspection. You know what I mean? You'll start to know, okay, I'm gonna start on this side and from top, I'll work down, go to the bottom, go to the other side, do that part, then I'll do the cab. Now I'll check the doors, hinges, windows, all that, and then start working down to the chassis, start working down to um, air brakes, um, working for the electrical wires, and just a lot of stuff you gotta remember. And remember, you always wanna say, my clearance lights are property mounted and secure, no crack, not broken, and the color is ember, ember. <laughs> but property monitored and secure is the term you have to say with everything and no crack no broken stuff like that so that's stuff that i was learning so today it was actually i'm actually learning the terms and i'm starting to memorize the different parts you know the air compressor the the, the brake drums the airbags the chassis you know knowing what um was belt driven was gear driven stuff like that and i actually did good on my backing this time i actually got five out of ten mm -hmm. last time it was two out of ten now i got five out of ten so i'm kind of getting better at backing and when you're backing that truck you want to keep it in a straight line right you got two yellow lines one on your right one on your left and you got to back it into the cones and when you're driving a regular car you want to back up you turn that thing you know what i mean you can back up but with a truck, you want to make sure your hands are on top of the wheel. And if you're gonna, if your if your trailer is more to the left, you want to turn with your right hand, right? So you want your right hand to be kind of at eleven o'clock. And if your trailer is more to the right, you want to turn with your left hand. And you want to make sure that your trailer, um, your left hand is more to one o'clock. You don't want to do big turns because what's happening? You're gonna veer that trailer to the right, or you're gonna veer it to the left, far left or far right. And you gotta remember, you're walking that trailer, you know what I mean? Once you, the trailer's gonna do what it do. If you don't know how to control the trailer, best and believe that trailer's gonna do what it wants to do. <laughs> so that's just, that's one aspect of learning how to back up the trailer or back up the truck. You gotta learn how to control that trailer and keep it straight, you know? So I'm getting a lot better. I'm learning the hand positions a lot better now because you know, I mean, we're all taught how to drive smaller cars. So when we get in the semi truck with a trailer on there, it's like reprogramming the mind and telling the mind, no, you don't do it this way, you don't do it that way, you gotta do it this way, this way. And you gotta learn how to, you know what I mean, control that thing. So it was awesome. Today was a way better day. Like I said, I would have still been there right now, but I gotta go cash T checks, gotta pay these carriers, gotta make sure they get their money. And another awesome um, thing, I was able to meet with um, other individuals that started the same time I started. And that's another thing, when you get into these training, right, you want to start to network and talk to people and get to know them, be familiar with them. So down the line, you guys can quiz each other. Because when you go take your test, you're gonna have the inspector behind you, and 99. Uh, let me ask, let, let me not give you a percentage, but majority of people who fail the driving course, it's because they're nervous. You know what I mean? They see the inspector behind them writing down. They don't know what they're writing, and you start to forget things. Okay, so a key thing or a, 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 a tip I, that I learned that I can tell you is when you start these training, you're in a group of people. You know what I mean? Don't be shy. Talk. Ask questions. You know what I mean? Talk with someone, you know what I mean, that you connect with. And you guys can quiz each other. You know what I mean? You can walk down. He can have the piece of paper in his hand while you're pointing out the different objects that you got to know in the pre-trip inspection. And he can say, okay, you did good. Or, hey, you're missing something. So you can start to memorize things. So, And then what helps is it builds your confidence. So when you do have the inspector behind you, you're not nervous. As a matter of fact, you got to put in your mindset that you are the inspector. You showing him how to check this truck. So when you have that confidence built up inside of you from the learning and the training, the more better you'll be when you actually it's time for the testing, okay? So that's what I was able to do today. Yesterday, I didn't do that because I was just like, I don't want to talk about that. But today, I was more outside of my comfort shell and I started talking to people and just started networking. I, I met a couple of guys who are actually were freight brokers and they had trucking companies that are booming doing great 
and they're telling me like like i said right now is the best time freight brokers go get your license you know what i mean you don't have to necessarily mean that you're going to be working for a trucking company but you know what i mean get your license so down the line when it's time for you to go purchase a truck and your fleet right to start building your fleet you can do that you don't have to depend on nobody you don't have to you know what I mean? Ask somebody, hey, are you gonna be in town this weekend? Cause I need to buy a truck and da da da. You can go do it yourself. And on top of that too, if you have a carrier that broke down on the side of the road, you can quiz them. You can say, hey, did you check this? Da da da. Did you do a pre-check inspection? Did you do 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 do? So you you can know, you know the terms as well. And then if you if you have a carrier that says, hey, I'm not driving, I'm done. Da da da. You can say, all right, bet. I'll be on my way and go get my truck. You got your license. So. That was one thing that um, kind of showed me that I was on the right path was actually seeing other freight brokers getting their license. And like I said, right now is the best time to get your license because um, I don't want to say too much, but you, everybody knows they've been following. If you've been following the trucking news, you know, next year, you might be a little different story. I'm not saying it's going to be impossible, but it's going to be a little bit more, you know, regulated. But um, yeah, so I met him we're chit chatting talking about his business he talking i was talking about my business and it was just great conversation meeting people and getting outside my comfort shell so today was actually a better day than yesterday hopefully tomorrow it'll be a lot more smooth i don't have any payments going out tomorrow so i should be able to um stay there the whole entire time and keep watching these videos you know they, they provided us videos i can be able to keep watching these videos keep reading to keep studying not like i can't do that now but like i said you guys um keep pushing the first day was great um the rate the main reason why i'm doing this is not so i can leave the freight brokerage industry i want to build on to my company as a freight broker and one way that i was able to me and the team um came up was hey a lot of our money goes out to carriers how awesome would it be if we had our own trucks and our own drivers so i'm taking the step and in initiative in my cdl license even though my partner on the trucking side has his cdl license we all need to get a license so we all can add on to the company and that's what we're doing and it's fascinating i'm learning i i, I want to be more than just a broker you know I want to know what these truck drivers have to go through. I want to know what these brokers have to go through. Now, I don't know if I want to know what these shippers have to go through, but <laughs> I like the trucking industry. It's fascinating. It's exciting. You get It's a great business to get into. Um, you don't have to work for nobody. You don't have to answer these phones. You don't have to get your hours cut. Everything is on your time and on your experience, right? You work hard. And when you work hard in this business, you get paid well. You can work hard for another business and not get paid well at all, okay? So that's why I love the trucking business um, as much as I do. And being able to add more to an industry that's gonna um, reward you, it's very, very um, exciting and uh, monumental to be part of. So my second day, loved it. It was great. I learned a lot more. I'm getting closer to the bank. I'm gonna go ahead and cash these T-checks. Like I said, man, the beginning of the video, thank you for all my new subscribers. We're up to 123 subscribers. That is awesome. Shout out to you guys. And if this is your first time watching my videos, I encourage you guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you guys want to hear or, or what questions you want me to ask or tell you or what question you want to ask and tell me so I can help you become a better person when it comes in the industry or at least help you get more prepared into this industry and like i said we got a campaign going on we need a thousand subscribers by october 1st 2022 let's make that happen and i know you guys are going to make it happen because we had a campaign to get 100 subscribers and we made it happen within three months so we could do this let's grow this company this company let's grow this channel into what we ultimately deserve a network where we can stick together, talk, share ideas, and just help us each other grow, okay? With that being said, let me go catch these tea checks. I got to go. I am hungry. I didn't even eat lunch. I just had injury drinks. So I'm gonna catch the tea checks. I'm gonna see y'all next time, man. Broke is talk.